That's right. So, guys, uh, we'll continue to uh, talk about that part between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Chipotle of Zambia. Namdi and uh, China say they're giving their views. Let's listen to the views of the captain, Mikel Obi. Uh, he's saying, look, I'm pleased with the experience that this team is getting. We'll be right back. Stay with us. I think with this team that they have, I think the future looks bright for them. Uh, well, I think it's good for us that they started the whole process very late. But bad for them that they started very late um, to, to, to start to win games. But I think they look very good today. They, they look better than the team we, we played against in Zambia. Um, very physical, energetic. Um, but we, um, we knew we, could, we have a, a bit more technical players than, than they have. Um, we know if we could stand them, stand them a little bit uh, with the energeticness and then after our technical ability will come into the game and that's exactly what happened. Uh, one, uh, we had a few chances but Alex came in and, uh, and got the goal. We're very pleased, we're very pleased to be, to be going to Russia. The, it was a very tactical, we, we, we wanted to come into the game half-half pressing and no, we, 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 we kind of but um, I think we pressed a bit more in the first half because we wanted to get the game over because we knew they will come and we knew there's going to be space between the lines and uh, the defense. We thought we think they're very slow, so we know if we could press them high and get the ball a little bit, we could create a bit more chances. But um, yeah, but that's why I think we lost a little bit energy. But towards the end of the game, we we started to get a bit, a bit more confidence and. Um, you know, we just spoke to each other. We, we, we knew this is our last chance of qualifying to the World Cup. Our home, there's no way we're going to lose. And um, that's exactly what happened. And Mikel, I'm sure, driving to that Gospel Akpabi International Stadium, when you looked at the faces of the fans, they were not smiling. Last chance, yes. <laughs> you must just get this ticket. Namdi, let me get you talking. How can we get this team to become better? Um, one. Grady friendlies. The World Cup is next year. We're through. Honestly, I know many people will not agree with me. One more match against Algeria. We don't need to take our first team. Now we need to start looking at the people who can stand up and be counted if we have injuries to our starting 11. Mm. We have an idea of who is in the starting 11. Mm. We also need cover for our defense. Balogu, Ekong, they've done well, but we need backup for them. Echejile, I'm still not too sure. I still think we need an option at left back. Option, yeah, but it, not totally of because I've been I've been looking at that debate. We still need his experience. Of course. Yo, no, we need his experience. This is defense. We need his experience. But there are games where you have to change it. You might have to sit three at the back and turn your full backs to wing backs. Then you need a lot of youth and pace. Mm. So we actually need options. These options we really need now. And in these friendlies we need to test people. Um, we see lots of talent, a lot of foreign base players who want to play for Nigeria, but they're all mostly offensive players. We have a serious shortage in defense. Mm. Um, I'm not seeing that clearing up anytime soon. Um, the big, burly, physical Nigerian defender who likes contact, who can play one-on-one -on -one with any striker, who is pacey, good in the air. We don't have that right now. And that's our major problem. We need to work on that defense and we need to get strong holding defensive midfielders. That's what this team really needs now. Going up front, we have a team that can spring a counter-attack against almost any side. There's enough pace and there's some quality. But defence is our real problem. If we don't get that sorted, we'll have serious issues. So that's that's obviously, that's the problem area that has mm. to be uh, resolved. Yeah. Um, you mentioned um, uh, Alderson Echejile. Um, you know, uh, the right back for a couple of years has been problematic. Uh, but Sheo Abdullah looks to have made uh, that position his own now. He's naturally a DM, but he's playing that role very well. Uh, so you'd say that's sorted. But the left-hand side, if you're looking at options, Olaino is one yeah. person mm. that I, can play I, I, that I, I, role. I was going to say that because, you know, we've seen it over time. Uh, I'll use an example of Manchester United. Matteo Damian was brought, brought to play right back. Correct. And uh, right now he plays left back. He even plays it for Italy. Okay. Uh, because I always believe, I have that belief that... Uh, a wing back can play either positions, whether he's right footed or left footed. You know, I think he can, he can play either positions. And from what we've heard about Olai, you know, in training, I've spoken to some of the players, and they've been waxing the recall about the young man talking mm -hmm. about how uh, he just needs to get a game and everybody will be convinced how good it is. And, you know, also watching him with uh, Hall City. I think uh, the, the games before the international uh, window, he was in the team of the week, team of yeah. the week in the championship because of, you know, so I, I believe maybe at a point uh, we might like, expect, like Nan talked about, the Algerian game will be, will be a fantastic case in point where we can try out, you know, try out a line out in that it's position, you know, in the, in the left wing, in the left back position and let's see what will happen. Also, in the mid, in the middle, you know, I think Mikel Agu has been given, uh, he's, 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 he's played a lot, he's gotten some chances. chances. I, I think, it's, I think we, also, we should try players like John Ogu, 
you know, play, uh, basically uh, the, the fringe players that haven't actually had a game, yeah. you know, that we've been talking about, uh, we've been saying we want these guys. Yeah, Chidoba Wazim, he had a horrible game against South Africa and uh, it seems everybody has, has thrown him out. But he plays for nonsense in the Ligue 1. He plays regularly. He's, well. he's, every, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a surefire starter. So maybe we can say we can attribute that to him because we talked about the central defence. Truly, uh, Leon Balou is a right back. You know, he's playing that position. He's playing well. But like Nami said, if he gets, if, if, if he gets um, isolated, it might be a problem, especially against a speedy attacker. So mm. we have to try out all the players. There's also, we, we still have defenders. There's yeah. Kelto Meruo, you know, so the, the people we can bring into mm. the team. Uh, this is, we have a whole lot of time now. Uh, the last match against Algeria, quality friendly games, you know, even training camps when we can afford, we can afford to have it. I think it, it, mm. that's the only way we can get better. Forward. Let's bring government into this um, they want to say well done to them also they they've done their own part but more responsibilities qualifying for the world cup uh we have an email here from the president of the nigeria wrestling federation daniel igali is congratulating uh the super eagles uh it says on behalf of the wrestling federation i want to congratulate the super eagles and nigeria for qualifying for the 2018 fifa world cup he went on to say the nigerian government by this overwhelming sense of happiness all over the country should see the need to invest money in sports. We can't buy or manufacture national pride. And I, I thought that was very, very deep. I know you guys have things to say about that. It's post this morning on channels television. Let's go on this final break. When we come back, Daniel Igali has given us reasons to think deep about this qualification and more. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us.